when we're raising honeybees is we always have to uh, inspect our hive. So what we're looking for when we inspect our hive is we're looking for um, evidence of eggs. And that means that we have a healthy queen. So if we see eggs and larvae inside the hive, then they're doing really well. We'll look for um, if there's any evidence of uh, beetles. Sometimes they like to invade the hive. And um, so if there's beetles, then we treat for that. Um, see webworms. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes webworms show up so the wax moths um, fly into the hive, they lay eggs, and uh, they turn into worms and uh, really do a lot of damage to a hive. So if you have a weak hive, and the honeybees can't, when they can't fight off these invaders, then you know you have a problem and um, that thing. A lot of times that's due to varroa mites. What? what will weaken your hive. That's one of the kind of an unseen um, problem because you really can't see the mites. So, so yeah, if, if mites, these varroa mites are tiny little mites that um, are on the, the bees themselves. They attach themselves to the worker bees and they make them really weak. And um, so we treat for varroa mites three times in the spring and three times in the fall. Yeah, we just we do that with a process of uh, oxalic acid, uh, where you just put a dry powder in and, and it vaporizes in there, seal up the hive. So we try to to uh, kill the, the mites before they can do damage to the bees. The other thing we we uh, if a hive uh, doesn't get enough honey, or if there's not enough pollen or flowers to get going in the spring, or if it's a wet spring, then we'll have to go out and we watch. We don't see enough honey, so we feed the the bees will feed them in the winter um, uh, sugar patties. Sometimes you can use sugar water or um, yeah, that's, you just got to make sure that the bees sustain long enough to when they can have enough food to sustain themselves.